This video will demonstrate a little bit about Church Secretary for Windows version 2021. I'm logging in with the username of admin. The password is initially blank. Now, when you first install Church Sector for Windows, there won't be any families, members, and so on. There's very little data for you to work with. So you want to begin by adding your own information, your own members. I'll dismiss this for now, explain it later. It's for the calendar reminders. There is one member that will exist probably when you install a program from scratch called Loose Change. Now what that's for is contributions. A lot of times you make it uh, money deposited in the collection plate that it's not a check or an envelope and you have no way to identify who contributed that money. And so that's the purpose of this Loose Change member. It doesn't require a family name. In most cases you will need adding a new member to add the family to belong to. But I think that the members is a good screen to come up on rather than families because you'll set up families once and then add members to the family. But the members will be where you'll you'll do more updating. So let's look at one. This has to be Jan Brady. And I, I'm sorry, I just picked out the old TV family. May not be the right person. That could be Marsha for all I know. But these tabs let you enter additional information about your members. Uh, this is a young adult. She's not a head of household. Uh, she's single, not married, or divorced, or other. You may say, instead of a young adult, you might consider that a child, so we'll go ahead and change that. The important dates will let you enter in a birth date, a uh, baptism date, date joined, high school, college graduation, and wedding dates. These are all optional. And as before, you can load a member photo. When you right-click in this area, you'll have a menu option pop-up to let you load or search for a file to save an existing file. So, for example, if you had pictures saved on a USB drive or something, well, can cancel this, and you loaded them, and then you lost the USB, well, you might want to get these pictures out of the database and then save them somewhere else. So that's what that save option would give you. Delete would delete the image that's been saved, and cut and copy, of course, are, are similar. There's also a notes field for each member, and this will let you enter any any freeform notes. Now, this is a uh, rich text formatted field. What that means is you can add formatting that's rich text by making anything you select a different font, a different size font, a different color. These are all common word, pro word uh, processing features. Okay. So down at the bottom for each, each of these members we're looking at, you have additional tabs that are related uh, items, related files. So one of those is talents. Right now, this member doesn't have any talents, but let's assign her or link a talent to her. That's what this bar along the bottom is for, is a grid that will list the member's talents. Let's say she's in the, the choir. So just click OK and add that. We could do it again, click the same button, and choose other items. Say she can cook, uh, maybe she's a teacher. So holding the control key will let us select more than one item and click OK. Now the next tab is classes. In this case I've got her assigned to a college class, Sunday PM worship. We could link her to different classes that she may belong to. In this case, let's say maybe she's in junior high. And so we'll, we'll select that. I could just well have added a new class when I went to link this. There's a new button here. That would allow me to add a new class and then assign her to that going forward. Contributions for our next item. Um, and you could record a new contribution here without going to a different screen. This will fill in the default contribution date, the member's name, then an amount. And let's just say $20. Now, a fund can also be associated with it. And the general fund would be they don't care, haven't designated a fund. The method is going to normally be check, cash, online, or other. Uh, a lot of congregations are using online giving now. So you have that option later. You can do a report to show what was given online compared to um, at the collection plate. And of course, yes or no as far as deductible. Now, if you have some people that, deduct, that contribute things that are not deductible, you could say this is to no, and then they won't show up in doing reports. Or you could filter on that field. And then again, here you have uh, a freeform notes item. This particular one 
is not rich text. I can't type tonight. Okay. So, I think, of course, you could choose the method. We'll just say cash. No check number. The only required fields here are the contribution date, the member name, and an amount. Required fields are designated with an asterisk. You can change these later with the model editor. It's in the help file, but I may do a video on it, maybe a few, on using the model editor. And that's where you can set things like required files. Now, if she had uh, belonged, we have talents, but let's say she belongs to groups. We can again come here and link uh, this member. And let's say she's in the praise group and a choir group. Just press control to select only those two. Now, again, if there was any items that she had that were uh, library items, maybe, you could link those as well to any items that were loaned out. We're not going to do this right now. But now we've made a number of entries to the related tabs at the bottom for this member, and we choose Save and Close. Now, one thing you may notice is when we have a person selected, we can select more than one, there's options up here to show in a report. And these are reports that you can get from the, you can start it from these menus down here, but if you choose from the grid, it'll only be that selected member. For example, let's do member details with photo. Now these are called in-place reports, which just means that you can choose them from a grid and print them. So here you see the notes we had down here. Didn't enter any dates. I don't have a pledge amount. We'll close this. You can select more than one member. And then when you choose to show in a report, um, it will show all those that you've selected. Okay. Now, of course, when we go into a report, you can export the data. I'll show you that real quickly, too. Let's do memory contributions. Now this one gives us a date range. And I'll just go back to January 1st and submit. Okay. Now what it's starting to say is you can export hang on, from here. These are all the options that you have. Excel and Word document files probably be more common. You can also export it to a PDF file a good format to email to people, and so on. This is the first introduction to Church Secretary for Windows. I'll have a lot more videos like this, so come back soon.